draw with Eastern Illinois. What, how is the prep different for this game when you think you're going on the road and you turn around and have to host them uh, kind of on short notice? What, what What's that change? Uh, I mean, really for us, it was just excitement that we got another home game. Um, obviously, anytime you get to play on your home turf and you don't have to travel day of for a game, uh, it should put your team in a position to better prepare themselves for the match. So um, for us, it was just a couple of quick logistical changes, communicate to the guys, communicate to our families so that they could come out and support us. And then um, after that, it's uh, business as usual for a home game. Go down a quick goal in the game's fifth minute. Um, what did that do in terms of, of changing the game and just changing what happens on the field from there? Because you were able to get equal, obviously, but uh, sure. how did that change the com the the complexion of the game. Yeah, no, first, I mean, you got to give credit to Eastern Illinois. Anytime that you've got a college soccer game at 2 p.m. On a, on a Wednesday afternoon, uh, the teams themselves, for, for their individual selves or their own selves, have to make their own momentum, their own energy, and create their own atmosphere. And the team that's able to come out in the first 10 minutes and establish that is the team that will likely put themselves in the driver's seat for the remainder of the game. So uh, credit to them for getting uh, us onto our heels right away and putting us under pressure with that first goal and then but at the same time on the flip side you got to give credit to our guys for battling back and finding the equalizer on the restart uh, from Sam to Uriel and then uh, from there I think we, we did well to create some more chances to find a way to win the game but unfortunately we didn't find the back of the net. Yeah your possession and attack was probably as strong as it's been all season um, against a good defensive team. What's changed over the course of the season that you're now being more dangerous in the attacking third? I think if for us there's been a couple of different things with, with personnel, but after that the attack, and I think I've said this before, is something that's going to take the longest. It's going to take the most amount of time for it to develop, and so much of it is just, just guys having the individual patience and composure when they're on the ball to deal with the pressure to find the next pass. And then uh, after that, it's you got to go beyond just passing the ball square and lateral and finally start to look forward and find those balls that actually um, break lines of the team and penetrate lines of the team, and I think we've done better with that with each successive game and in particular today uh, we did a good job of finding forwards and then after that had good movement from midfield coming from behind to uh, combine with them as well. Now lastly Uriel gets a goal uh, and, and he seemed to be kind of in the middle of everything uh, in the attack today. Uh, what would you like from him in particular? Yeah, I think today was one of the first times over the course of the season where I've really seen him take responsibility for everything that he needs to do out on the field. Not just the piece of, okay, I'm the guy here that's supposed to be the one scoring goals, but I also need to be putting in work holding up the ball for the team. I also need to be putting in defensive work to help us dig things out when maybe we don't have a chance to maintain possession. So he put in a cumulative performance today across the board where he did everything he was supposed to, including score the goal and do the dirty work to dig things out, hold balls up and, and, and some defensive effort as well. So really proud of him.